welcome to Monday Motivation on the Daily Dose of the Daily Boost. I want to welcome you to a brand new week. And uh, for some of you, first time you're seeing us in this month of July. And uh, it is exciting. I'm, I'm telling you this next two weeks, it's going to be hot getting ready for the power school of miracles coming up. I want to welcome all of you that are watching me. I see we have Dixie. God bless you. And I see Francis Agbo all the way from my hometown. And we have Faith. Welcome on board. I want you to do a few things. First things first, share this with as many people as possible. Let them know the doctor is in the house. And we are ready to roll with another daily dose of your daily boost. So, um, by the way, we are right now on Amazon uh, Fire. The Amazon Fire. We are Roku TV. We are also on um, we are also on Apple TV. If you go to Empower Network, Empower Media Network, just do a search on those devices, you find us up there. We have our channel there, Empower Media Network. It's already running up there. So some of you that are watching us, um, I want you to know that it is another great day with great possibilities of what God can do. Praise God. I'm so excited. It's more than motivation. And... Um, Power school is coming up around the corner. I want to make sure everything is fine. Um, it, the title is called Eternity Now, and you need to sign up. We have a few days. I, we've heard a lot of people requesting whether they can register to come. Yes, we are going to be here live and direct. It's called Eternity Now. Go to psom.org. It's right on your screen. So now many people have been asking about uh, whether they can be. We, we have live audience. We certainly do. So you want to be part of that. We have uh, Apostle Everton Weeks, uh, Pastor Donna, myself, uh, Tom and Susan Carella, and Prophet F.A. and Mama. We have a lot of all the people coming up too. We have Courtney Fatlin. We have also Happy Guitar. And of course, we have the Embassy team here. We have uh, Johnny and the guys. We have um, um, all, all the cool folks that have been leading worship in the Embassy. Okay, so... Get yourself ready. It is going to be a shake up for a wake up. You can't miss the power school of miracle. I know divine is ready to roll for power school and the rest of the crew. So, but I want I want to welcome everybody that's watching us today. It is a great day and with great things happening. And I see Martha all the way from the embassy in London and in Turo. Bless you. Welcome aboard. We have Donna Prendergast. God bless you. We have Wade. God bless you. I see all of you that are joining me on the different social media. You want to share this with as many people. I just, I just want to make sure it's not frozen. Um, we see many people are watching us from different media, but praise God, praise God. I am so excited. So you need to register for the Power School of Miracles coming up. And also, for those of you, I see KJ is on. Praise God. I see it's all the way from Kingdom Embassy in Abuja, Nigeria. Welcome on board. So um, one of the things we want to do is I want to be sure that we have a few things straightened out. We, we, we are already on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and also Roku TV. We now can reach, actually, I thought it was 110 million households. We can actually reach 160 million households. So we want to build this, build some of our, of our, our strategies to make sure we can have all of those things. So we want to make sure we have our time also set so we can go for it. So, but I am ready to roll as a good day for good things to happen. I see Prophetess Helen, God bless you. And we also have Alexander and Frida. I hope you guys had a good time with Apostle, um, uh, with Apostle Andreas and Pastor Martina. So, but we are ready to roll. And um, we are going to be talking about the subject this next two weeks. It's called... El Shaddai, the El Shaddai factor. What does that mean? You want to be in a place where you can understand what God said about himself. You see, let's go. We're going to look at a scripture in Genesis 17, verses 1 to 8. I want to read that to you. And uh, they'll put that on the screen. And I want you to join with me. Love from the UK. I say is prophetess Helen. Bless you. I'm glad you joined me. The Bible says, and when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, in fact, 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty. I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And let's keep reading it. 
and uh, it says and I will make my covenant between you between me and thee and will multiply thy seed exceedingly we're gonna go all the way to verse 8 and Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him saying as for me behold my covenant is with you and I will I said and I shall be a father and thou shall be a father of many nations this is after he has said that in Genesis chapter 12 he said you shall be a father of many nations he said for a father of many the Bible says now neither shall thy name be any more called Abram but thy name shall be Abraham no more Abram by God changing his name and he put the heart H A in between he changed his destiny just for a change of name in fact in that statement Abraham that word Abraham God already birthed what he needed to be a father of many nations can you imagine a 99 year old man and here comes God saying you are going to be the father of many nations I'm talking to some of you here you think you don't have anything you but there is a seed of God's word in you it could be in your name it could be in something else but I'm talking about what God said to him he said for a father of many nations have I made thee let's keep reading and I will make thee exceedingly fruitful I will make thee exceedingly fruitful and I will make nations let's he said I will make this single group and I'll make a nation of thee and kings shall come out of thee kings shall come out of thee and I will establish my covenant between me and you and thy seed and after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God unto thee hallelujah to be God unto thee and to thy seed after thee now let's go to verse 8 and I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein you are a stranger in all of the land of Cana for an everlasting covenant an everlasting possession and I will be their God now let me let me bowl this down let's go to verse 1 it says I am the Almighty I am the Almighty what does that mean in other words God was telling him that he is the word Almighty there is El Shaddai El Shaddai what does that mean you see God was introducing himself to to Abraham and at that time he was called Abraham and God was introducing himself to Abraham and it says I am El Shaddai and that's one of the one of the seven covenant names that God revealed himself in it in other words God is saying I am all sufficient for you there's nothing you're gonna need that I cannot supply I am El Shaddai Almighty the word when we say Almighty God is actually saying El Shaddai a lot of times we use words without understanding the meaning of those words God is saying I am your all sufficiency all sufficiency in other words when you have me you cannot lack anything he says I am El Shaddai hallelujah El Shaddai the all sufficient one the God who is more than enough and the King James says El Shaddai you see when God addressed Abraham as Abraham he placed the promise into effect in his life he placed the promise when God says I am Jehovah Rapha I am the Lord that healeth thee in other words he's saying when he says I am the Lord that healeth thee in that statement is your healing whatever you need you can have hallelujah so seven redemptive names and each as a picture a, a different picture an aspect of El Shaddai when you get called all the different names of God it's just an aspect of the word El Shaddai so El Shaddai means I am Jehovah Nisi I am Jehovah Shalom I whatever name you can call him the Lord my healer the Lord my peace whatever it is all of those things are wrapped up in the word El Shaddai he's saying to them I am El Shaddai 
I am more than enough. I am more than enough. Are you going through some seasons of spell of, of dryness? Hear this. God is saying to you, I am El Shaddai. You can have whatever you're believing for. In other words, he is more than enough. He is more than enough. God is about to blow your mind in this July that we are coming into the, the, the month of release. God is releasing more than enough into you today. Are you with me? He says, I am El Shaddai. I am El Shaddai. I am the God that is more than enough. You see, all through the Old Testament, God revealed himself in different ways to them. It says, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says, the Bible tells us that when they came out, it promised them that when they were coming out, they were coming out with plenty. Let's look at Genesis chapter 15 and verses 13 and 14. God is saying to them, I am your El Shaddai. Do you know that everything God says has a promise and a purpose within the scripture? And he said unto Abraham, Know for a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve the people, and they shall be afflicted there 400 years. God already told them what was going to happen in Egypt. And in the next verse, it says, And also that nation whom you shall serve, will I judge? And afterwards shall that they come out with great substance. You are coming out with great substance. By the end of this month, I can tell you, you are going to experience the El Shaddai factor of God. I don't know whether you're ready for this, but it's going to come to you so quickly. I don't know whether you'll be able to handle the goodness of God that's about to be unleashed on you. Are you hearing me? All through the Old Testament, he unveiled himself as the, the God who is more than enough. If For 430 years, that promise went by, and then God showed up on the scene and spoke to a man called Moses who he who let the children of Israel out the Bible says this it it talks about how Moses in Exodus 15 how Moses let the children out of Egypt what did he do he let them through the Red Sea he let them through the Red Sea in other words God had enough power, enough everything he needed for that victory. You know, when the children of Israel left Egypt, the Bible said they came out with plenty. They came out with more than enough. You see, some people don't understand that God has given a task to people, to the, 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 the non-believers, those that don't believe, to, he's given them a task to walk, to gather, and to heap, and to give to those that believe that God is going to do it. They believe in wealth. They believe in things. I believe that God is about to do something incredible. He is going to do something believing for the El Shaddai factor. Are you with me? Are you with me? I want to make sure we can get this, that you are entering a season of more than enough. This is your season. This is the month, seven month. It's the month of release. Just like the seventh year, the seventh month, I believe God is about to release you from your debts. And God wants to do something incredible. And so that's what we're going to be talking about this very day. I hope you are ready for the El Shaddai factor. And so what did God do? First thing he did was he let the children of Israel through the Red Sea by the hand of Moses. So much that it was such a miracle that happened that water, that this mighty Red Sea was padded. There was a parting of the Red Sea. Some people have said, well, it cannot, it cannot be. Maybe the, it was a shallow tide, maybe it was a, a low tide and the water just dried up. And they, No, 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 no. It was miraculous. Do you know most Christians do not experience the El Shaddai part of God. 
the El Shaddai, the all-sufficiency of God. A lot of Christians don't understand that. So we are struggling every day trying to understand the El Shaddai factor. He says, I am your El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. I am more than enough. In other words, if you have me, you have everything you need. You have everything. I'm speaking to somebody today, listening in. Maybe you have come to the place that you have been stuck and the resources are drying up. Get ready. This is your month of release. You begin to experience the El Shaddai factor. What happened? The Bible declares that, that they took the children of Israel through the Red Sea. And the Bible says it was like dry ground. It was a miracle. It wasn't low tide. The, the, there were walls of water on both sides when they went through on dry ground. I've heard some people say, you don't understand. You don't understand. How. See, people have tried to remove the miraculous part of God out of God. Who would God be without miracles? Who would be without a supernatural? What would the Bible be without the miraculous? Who would Jesus be without miracles? What will the early church be with our miracles? I'm talking about having all sufficiency in all things. In fact, in the New Testament, the Bible says that everyone had things in common and everyone had more than enough and none in the church lacked anything. Go and read the book of Acts, the El Shaddai factor. That is as good and as valid today as it's ever been. You have to understand that that same God has never changed. The way he let the children of Israel out through the Red Sea by the hand of Moses. He was more than enough. In fact, the Bible says he let them out in water that was so shallow. Exodus 15 verse 8. They were singing, they were describing it, singing the praise. The Bible says the depth congealed in other words was frozen and it says i want a blast of his nostrils the water were gathered together the flood stood right up like a heap and the depth was congealed in the heart of the sea what a description that god has to describe what actually happened when they were let i'm telling you some of you feel like you're having walls of pressure coming at you as water get ready god is about to make those pressures to freeze and you're walking out of it am i talking to somebody today because i believe that something incredible is going to take place and you're about to ride on eagle's wings are you ready for that god is more than enough he is al shaddai hallelujah hallelujah the bible says that the depth of the sea congealed in the heart of the sea that was their song it was frozen water. they walked on congealed water you see god has always exhibited that to his people as el shaddai i want you to know that he has never changed and what he does back then he still does today and the children of israel moved from egypt through the red sea into canaan land and there was more problem they had to fight all kinds of people and they struggled with different things and what happened god had to intervene he came and on the scene and he declared himself again and again as a god that was more than enough in fact the sun stood still in the battle darkness was coming and they were losing the battle and then joshua prayed and the sun and the moon stood still if you look at joshua chapter 10 in verse 3 you see how it was described i'm talking to you about the el shaddai factor the god that is more than enough almighty somehow we have reduced him to just praying for this do you know how big god is the bible says god was in christ and now christ is in you the hope of glory you are about to experience glory like you've never seen before hallelujah you are about to experience glory like you have never seen before i'm talking about you are coming to the place of unlimited 
unlimited flow a release these is your El Shaddai season the, the the season of overflow are you with me hallelujah you will lack nothing in the season that's why I want to teach this uh, if it's okay with you guys I want to teach this for two weeks or maybe I can just teach it today and get it over with but you never get the depth of what I want to share with you I am talking about the El Shaddai factor the El Shaddai factor God called himself I am Almighty or El Shaddai the Bible says this let's go to Joshua chapter 10 and when they were in the midst of the battle and they were losing the battle the Bible says wherefore Adonai Zedek king of Jerusalem sent unto Horam Hoam, king of Hebron and unto Piram king of Jamut and unto Japhia uh, king of I'm just trying to read this here <laughs> Lachish and unto basically all of those kings let's go to the next thing Let, let's go to the next thing it says it says come up unto me and help me that we might smite the Gibeon we might smite Gibeon for he had not made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel you see they were going through a tough battle and what did God do God had to stop when all of the people fighting God had to stop the Sun and the moon just to give them victory let me tell you if you've been struggling I'm here to tell you that God is already stopping time stopping seasons for you some somebody say to me oh you can't do that do you know who God is he is El Shaddai he is almighty almighty I'm speaking to somebody today that maybe you've been between a rock and a hard place it could be in healing it could be in finances he is more than enough he is El Shaddai he is El Shaddai he is still El Shaddai God stopped the universe because of a man he stopped the universe because of a man a man's prayer God stopped because he is still El Shaddai are you with me today are you with me today God is about to get you to a place where you never have to struggle oh my goodness I see some of your hearts are just bubbling with this news God is about to take you to experiencing El Shaddai Jr. hallelujah are you with me you see in the Old Testament God revealed himself more times that he was more than enough he was more than enough what am I saying we sing a song here that says he is more than enough written by a great man of God a minstrel of God David Ingalls he is more than enough He's, he is El Shaddai the God of plenty the all-sufficient one God Almighty he is more than enough that's how the lyrics of the song goes we sing that at embassy we sing that in our meetings a lot to teach people about God being El Shaddai Almighty and it occurred in the book of Job 31 times 31 times El Shaddai not only enriches but makes fruitful but makes fruitful imagine what he did to Abraham at 99 years old the Bible says he was almost dead it looked like he was dead hallelujah Hebrews 11 verse 12 tells us it says Sarah's womb seemed like it was dead but God restored fruitfulness I'm talking to somebody today you felt like maybe your season has passed you remember this if God did it to Sarah and Abraham God is gonna do it for you hallelujah I'm talking to somebody because you are about to enter your season of fruitfulness he is still El Shaddai are you with me he is still El Shaddai are you hearing me the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 12 Hebrews chapter 11 verse 12 it says therefore hallelujah it says spring them even of, of one and him it says him as good as dead him as good as dead him as good he was almost dead you're never too dead for a resurrection not when you have the El Shaddai factor riding on the inside the God factor the almighty factor riding on the inside of you 
We live in a society where people have gotten to the place where they are leaning on their own understanding instead of the understanding of the Almighty. The Almighty El Shaddai. Do you know that he is more than enough for you? I'm talking to somebody. This is Motivation Monday. By Friday, you are overflowing. We are turning on all the gas. We are turning on all the, the, the taps. We are turning on all the valves. There is going to be an overflow in your life from today. Hallelujah. We are turning, up, turning on all those things. We're letting it flow. Hallelujah. This is your month of release. And you are getting the full dose of El Shaddai. The Bible declares, of his fullness have we received, grace for grace. John tells you that, of his fullness have we received, grace for grace. Hallelujah. The word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld the glory. I'm speaking to you. Some of you might feel that your season of fruitfulness is over. I'm here to tell you, so, you know, the world calculates and say, when you're 20, when you're 30, in your 40s, in your 50s, when you come to the El Shaddai factor, your age does not matter. <laughs> A man that was 99 years old, he became fruitful again at 99 years old. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 28, verses 3 and 4. Genesis 28, verses 3 and 4. I wanted to see that. Hallelujah. This is what it says. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful, hallelujah, and multiply thee and thou, that thou mightest be a multitude of people. What am I saying? And God Almighty or El Shaddai, and El Shaddai bless you and make you fruitful, hallelujah. Let El Shaddai bless you and make you fruitful that's what i'm talking about and multiply you i'm talking to somebody here listening to me today and you are thinking well people have written you off and told you well you would have done that when you were 20 years old or 30 years old or 40 years old or 50 years old or listen to me it doesn't matter i'm talking to you today because you are about to unleash fruitfulness verse 4 Let's look at that scripture, 28 verse 4, Genesis 28 verse 4, because I know God wants to do something. And give thee the blessing of Abraham to you and to your seed with you, that you might inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Let's read that, the New Testament, to see how that connects with you. I'm talking about God is the bestower of fruitfulness. Hallelujah. It tells you, it says, For Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone that hangs on a tree. Let's keep reading. Hallelujah. We keep reading that scripture. That the blessing of Abraham can come on the Gentiles. Glory to God. The blessings of Abraham can come on to you. Are you ready for an overflow of God's goodness? Let people criticize you. You just keep shining. They will say things, but they cannot stop that the pipes, all of the things are open up and you're getting a full dose of El Shaddai. Are you ready for this this month? Oh my goodness. I can see you getting those businesses. The contacts are coming. Great things are coming. The finances you need is coming. Whatever you need, God is releasing that in this hour. Are you, are you hearing me? You see, God wants you to become fruitful even at your old age. See, fruitfulness in the spirit can make you fruitfulness in the physical. That means when your body seems dead, it changes and you begin to produce. Hallelujah. It's time for you to become fruitful. I'm talking about El Shaddai. The God that is more than enough. The El Shaddai factor. John chapter 15. John chapter 15. I see uh, Z Pata John. Uh, Jose or so. Uh, that, they won't find a virus in your body. You're healed now in Jesus name. You're healed. You're going to get a test tomorrow. That, that virus is gone from you. El Shaddai is at work right now. Hallelujah. They won't find anything in your body. They're, these are the days of manifestation of El Shaddai. 
John chapter 15 verse 2. This is what Jesus declares. Hallelujah. You want to see what it says. It says, every branch in me that buried not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that buried fruit, he purged it. He purged it that it might bring forth more fruit you are about to release. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is done. It is done. It is done. God is about to release that to you now. You are getting a full dose of El Shaddai. What? what? <laughs> I can tell you, one of our biggest problems is this. How we are conditioned. Because of our society and because of the ways we've been raised, we have limited the unlimited God. I believe that you are going to be giving liberally to many causes to being a blessing to the nation. He is the bestower and the restorer of fruitfulness. He is, hallelujah, El Shaddai. If you go to the book of Job, chapter 42, you will find after Job had lost every single thing, the Bible declares that God gave him double for his troubles. Double for his troubles. And your latter days are going to be greater than your past get ready i believe that god is about to release something into your atmosphere in this season and great things are going to be happening are you hearing me great things are going to be happening believe that god's power is coming to you these are the days of el shaddai are you with me I'm talking to you today. If you, re if you believe that, receive that, I want you to comment and say, I am in this flow. I'm getting in this flow because God spoke to me. He said, I want you to teach them. Let them discover me as El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God. The, he is more than enough. He is more than enough. Are you hearing me? He is El Shaddai. In the Old Testament, God revealed himself, hallelujah, it, that he is more than enough. Elijah at the Mount Carmel. God released fire. The fire consumed the sacrifice and the prophets of Baal were defeated. What am I saying? God is still in the answering business. God is still in the prayer answering business because I love what Elijah said. It says, the God who answers, not just answers, but answers by fire. Hallelujah. The El Shaddai factor. God is about to answer you with power, with fire, whatever means you want to see. It's time to begin to experience that El Shaddai factor in your life. I remember back in 2005, I was teaching the subject about El Shaddai and people around me began to prosper. They began to go into dimensions, having houses, having lands given to them, and they began to flourish. I believe the Lord spoke to me, it's time to come and teach that again to another breed, a new generation of believers that can take that word and run with it and see it manifest. He says, I am more than enough. Hallelujah. He in you, great is he that is in you than anything out in the world. You are about to enter a season of uncommon blessing. Hallelujah. God is more than enough. He is more than enough. You see, God never runs out of things. If it doesn't exist, he is going to create it. Because we are entering a season of overflow. I'm speaking to some of you here that seem like things or time has been against you. You're running out of time. God can extend that time for you. He is more than enough. Can you dare to believe him for bigger things? You know, people quit and just run around and do something else. And uh, they are derailed because they do not understand that God wants them to operate in this overflow. He says, I am El Shaddai. I am El Shaddai. I am more than enough. I believe that this is Motivation Monday. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with another big blast of this message. Hallelujah. I know it's going, to, it's going to be helping you understand how you can make access. You can have access to this dimension of God. Do you know most people don't know? If you don't know, you can activate your faith. 
But when you start hearing, he is more than enough. How can he be more than enough? And I am his son, and I have lack. No, it's not possible. How can you be the daughter or the son of El Shaddai, and you have less than what you need? You have more than enough. I believe, I prophesy that to you. I release that word into your spirit. Today begins the flow of El Shaddai in your life. In everything you do, you are entering a season of El Shaddai manifesting in you. My God, my God. I'm speaking to somebody. You were down to your last dime. You're down to your last money. And God says, trust me with that. I will show you that I am El Shaddai. Hallelujah. God is about to pay your bills. He's about to take care of your housing. He's about to give you that new car you're believing for. He's about to promote you to places you've never been. Get ready. It's a new season and a new day with God as El Shaddai in your life. I'm telling you, I believe that God wants you. I mean, look at the prophet Elijah. He had to stop where he was in the place of comfort to go and meet a, a widow of Zarephath. Jesus had to talk about it. To make sure the woman never ran out of supply. And he says to her, give me what you have. Give me what you have. You know, some of you don't understand. Some of my people that have traveled with me, I can share this testimony. I know Princess Reka wouldn't mind me sharing this with her, uh, with, with you guys. The first time we met, many, many years ago, almost 20 years ago, we met in Budapest. So she came to me as I was ministering to the people. And she came in the meeting. And there was something about her that I, I saw. And uh, she came for prayer. She came with her parents. And we're talking. Her parents were uh, pastors and uh, scientists. You know, I mean, these are people that understand the sciences and they understand the dimension of God. So she came to me. She said, listen, I have this need. I have this need. I, ne I have this debt I need to take care of. And you know what the Lord told me to tell her? He said, tell her to give you everything she has in her bank account how well it, it sounds like a crazy a crazy thing I, I, she had a need but god told me ask her to give you everything i know when i said to her i said you know what i have an instruction from god for you and the instruction is i want you, you know Rebecca, she's here she remembers that I, the lord told me he said tell her to give everything that's almost 20 years ago she gave everything she had emptied her wallet now it's an is simply flowing and obeying God. Flowing and obeying God. Reka is here, she's saying, yes, yes, yes. It's true. Because after she did that, and the Lord said, tell her she will never lack anymore. The debts were paid. Everything were paid. Everything turned around. And that has been almost 20 years now of a relationship with God, with her, seeing the faithfulness of God. She's gone on. She's done a lot of things. She's still our, our wonderful international director and also uh, a, a great movie actress, director, extraordinary in the television and everything. <laughs> she does everything. But I remember that day, that evening, when I said to her, give me everything. Sometimes when God gives an instruction like that, you know the religious people will say, oh, but don't, he, he's just trying to take a bond. No! God is about to release is El Shaddai in you that is a link for God to do something supernatural of course we have we always tell people get wisdom get understanding get ideas create businesses but sometimes you need to be in a place where miracles have to happen that will shift the trajectory the trajectory of your life and that's what I'm talking about the El Shaddai factor hallelujah the El Shaddai factor you hallelujah are about to move in another dimension hallelujah you are about <laughs> you are about to move in another dimension I believe that today God is gonna tell some people you want to do something crazy and trust God for to be your El Shaddai same thing happened to me when Dr. John Abenzini came to Lagos Nigeria that was back in 1989 and um, the National Indoor Sports Hall where they play basketball. I was there and something happened. And God told him, told him, whatever seed you have, if you have a seed in your hand and it's not enough to meet your need, it's a seed. If whatever you have in your hand and it cannot meet your need, it's a seed. Release that and see what God will do. Do you know that's how I came to the United States? Because I didn't have money to come to the United States. But when I trusted him as my El Shaddai, 
in that very meeting a young lady I just sold all I had I had money to go and eat some food on my way back from the meeting and pay my my transportation to my cousin's place in Lagos Nigeria that evening the money I would have used for my transportation and for also food that evening I just took that was the last I was a student that was the last amount of money I had I just took that I was a teenager you know guess guess what happened I just took that and gave it guess what happened while I was in that meeting a young lady her name is called uh, uh, Tola she I, I got to know her because later on she came to the United States also she was in the other side of the hall and she God spoke to her go and give that young man a check and it was a check for a thousand dollars equivalent a check for a thousand dollars that started all the things are needed hallelujah to come to the united states i flew to the eastern part of nigeria to calabar and then from there went home talked to my dad and then you no know, land was sold and money just came from everywhere and i got my ticket i got my endorsement and i flew to the united states god provided everything he is still your el shaddai when i came to jfk and uh, i came first time to jfk and I arrived and I figured, well, all the stories we've heard about America was uh, America is such a beautiful country and uh, no one steals anything. You can leave your cars with the doors open, with the car keys in. That, that's a kind of mentality we sometimes have. <laughs> I would figure that uh, it was a kind of a safe country. And what happened? I arrived at JFK, I left my back to ask the direction to go to Clarion University. Guess what happened? I looked back my bag was gone they stole my bag with all of my clothing and everything from Nigeria and I just realized um they are criminals in America <laughs> and uh, I had only my Bible what I was wearing in my body and that was it my passports in my hand and that was it and I just said Lord you sent me to this country your word says you take care of me I'm thinking El Shaddai I said I trust you you are my El Shaddai. And guess what happened? What money I had left, I took a vehicle to Clarion, Pennsylvania to meet my coach, Dr. Ron Ryder. So when I got there, he said, where are your bags? I said, they stole it at JFK. He felt so sorry for me. A wonderful man, wonderful, wonderful man, uh, Dr. Ron Ryder. You know, he used to be one of the coaches of the University of Southern California, the basketball team, with uh, George Raveling. Way, way back then, some of you wouldn't know that. You know, they were the uh, coaches of the U.S. Olympic team in uh, 1988 Olympics. So they recruited me to come and play basketball. So what happened was he was he was felt so sorry for me. I came to the Clarion Cage Camp, the basketball camp, to be one of the instructors there. And while I was there, two days after I arrived, God sent people that never knew me. Told them that there's a young man from, from Africa, from Nigeria, that needs brand new clothing. These people just followed the instruction of God in Clarion. I didn't know anybody but the coach. And that was it. So two days after I arrived, they brought two bags filled with brand new clothing. They said, we were in prayer and God told us that you were coming and that you had lost your bags, your, your clothing, and we have this brand new clothing. I say he is still El Shaddai. I came to this country with nothing, and God has proven himself to me as El Shaddai. If he can do it for me, my dear friends, he will do it for you. As I'm speaking, the spirit of this message is coming to you and is changing you. You are entering another dimension, another dimension of glory. Get ready. This is your season of experiencing El Shaddai in your life. I want to I want to give you an opportunity. First of all, a few things. You're going to share these messages with as many people as, as possible. Let them be encouraged that they're coming into that supernatural flow with God where he is going to show himself as almighty or El Shaddai, the, the all-sufficient one in them. The Bible says God is able to make all grace abound so that we having all sufficiency in all things. We abound to every good work hallelujah you can be generous to helping so many people but I want to give you a few things share what this message with others number two you want to be able to if you haven't registered for the power school 
you need to register for power school of miracle it is going to be mind-blowing eternity now you want to register for it and the third thing is also i want to bring you on as a partner trust god today if you need to put your faith into action and sow a seed do it today and expect a harvest expect god to move as your el shaddai expect that to happen so i want to encourage you if you want to do that right now you go to christlove.org and uh, click that donate button and say i'm going to sow my seed also if you're doing it by paypal you want to go to paypal.me and uh, forward slide charles and even you said i want to release my seed it's just the act of faith do that immediately and see what god can do beginning of the week we start with the else to die factor all through the week i want to show you i want to teach you and i want to help you flow in that grace where else should i is flowing he says it's able to make all grace available else should i all sufficiency so that you having all sufficiency in all things we're going to be talking about that during the week will abound to every good work hallelujah i believe in that so i want to encourage you what you're going to do is you need to go immediately release a seed and be a part of what we're doing i see pastor rick dixon man of god i love you <laughs> i see we have Chris from iowa hallelujah blessings and we have christopher god bless you way god bless all of you that have joined me today because these is god taking you into a graceful week of el shaddai if you also want to do we have a cash app option as the dollar sign charles and Nephon and uh, you can see that on your screen and also we have the venmo option thank god we have different ways we can get this it's at dr charles in Defund. you can see that on the screen hallelujah and also we, if you're doing uh, maybe check or money order you want to do it write it out to christ love media p.o box 72800 providence rhode island 02907 and uh, i know we can get back tomorrow and share another thing tomorrow is transformation tuesday you don't want to miss it it is your week to experience the el shaddai factor in your life i want to thank god for all of you that have joined me today i'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another daily dose of the daily boost go and manifest el shaddai in your life god bless you and i'll see you again tomorrow